Hey everyone, Dan Bernard here with another tutorial. Today I wanna to talk about a few easy steps to help mix your dialogue and music in your projects better. The problem that I wanna address here is most people just go straight to adjusting every clip individually, or they rush straight to going to the mixer and mixing the tracks ahead of time and doing that process way too early really is just gonna cost you more time down the road. So the project I'm working on is an interview with Ben Sledge, and he's talking about his experience in the military, and I want to have some emotional music underneath it, but I don't want his vocal track to be drowned out by it. I also don't wanna play with the mix a little too early so that everything is muddied and you can't really understand what he's saying. We of course want the focus of this to be his voice because we want to know what he's communicating. The audio that I brought in right now is just faded together and nothing has been tweaked, nothing has been adjusted in terms of the gain or anything. Let's just take a quick listen to this so we can understand where we're starting out at. War was what I understood. It became my day-to-day -day life for a year. Uh, it's who I was. What is life? What is humanity? What, what is everything that I'm dealing with in my own life? What is our purpose as human beings? The goal here is we want to, first off, we want to make sure that his dialogue is the most prominent piece in the project. So the first thing that I want to do is go ahead and add some compression onto the vocal track here. Currently, my vocal track is set up in track one. So I'm going to go down to my effects rack, go to amplitude and compression, and add a multiband compressor. Now the preset here I'm going to choose is going to be internet delivery because I'm going to put this interview online on YouTube as soon as it's all finished up. I'm going to go ahead and set the margin to negative two and that means that the total dB will not surpass negative two on the output gain monitor here. A quick explanation of what compression does is it brings down the loud parts in the audio while boosting up the quiet parts. So you really have a great starting point when you begin your mixing process. So I'm just gonna adjust the parameters accordingly to what is appropriate for my project and then move on. Now that the compression is added, you can really hear the difference. War was what I understood. It became my day-to-day -day life for a year. Uh, it's who I was. What is life? What is humanity? What, what is everything that I'm dealing with in my own life? What is our purpose as human beings? And you can see here as it plays, Nothing ever clips, which is great. We're not losing any audio quality in that. Nothing is being clipped off. But we also want to make sure that everything is EQ'd properly. Now, keep in mind, I haven't touched anything on the audio track that contains the music. But I also want to be able to hear the music. And right now, as it is, the dialogue track is in my opinion, overpowering the music. So let's EQ everything a little bit to make sure that we can feel the emotional response of the music, but we can also very clearly understand what Ben is trying to express. So to do that, I'm gonna select the track that my music on, which is currently audio track number six. I'm gonna to go to my effects rack, go to filter and EQ, and then go to parametric equalizer. And I'm just gonna go up to the presets and hit default. So the sweet spot that I want to try and hit is between the one and 2K marks. And I'm just gonna bring that down. So I'm gonna grab marker number three here and just slide it down ever so slightly so there's a little dip between the one and 2K field. And then we'll take a listen and see how that sounds. War was what I understood. It became my day-to-day -day life for a year. Uh, it's who I was. What is life? What is humanity? What, what is everything? that I'm dealing with in my own life. What is our purpose as human beings? And already I can, I can hear that music a lot better. The bass is much more prominent there. I really think that mix is, is pretty good with the EQ added. So it is at this point that I can move on to the mixing phase and adjust the faders here on each one to find a mix that I am comfortable with. And once that's done, I can render out a mix down and bring it into Premiere to finish my edit. So all in all, I hope these three simple steps give you guys a better understanding of a maybe a more efficient workflow to make your dialogue and music mix a little bit better without going through all the hassle of adjusting each clip individually 
and hopefully saving you guys a lot of time in the end to get your project done faster. If you like this tutorial, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments about anything that I've covered here, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. And of course, if you enjoy this tutorial and wanna see some more, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let me know that you wanna see some more of these types of tutorials coming down the pipe. Once again, I'm Dan Bernard and thanks so much. We'll catch you next time.